<laughs> we have a black view uh, from the APWU, whereas Dennis St. Laurent has after faithful and meritorious, meritorious, thank you, meritorious service in the United States Post, uh, Postal Service and of loyal and active membership in the American Postal Workers Union, AFL-CIO, retired. Therefore, be it known that local 219 North Ottawa, Massachusetts, Jerry Fortier, President, Patrick Brown, Secretary, and the American Postal Workers Union, AFL-CIO, gratefully acknowledges this loyal service and expresses the hope that the future holds many years of, con of contentment and happiness. Uh, William Burns, President, Terry Stapleton, Secretary. Oh, thank you very much. I've been time. working at a like liquor store for um, the past 18 years. Okay. Yeah. Tell us about the Pony Express, Dennis. <laughs> so uh, I went back to work there. I stopped for three years, but I went back to work there. Ooh, it looks windy outside. Uh, Look at those flags are blowing. Three months ago, mm -hmm. you know, because they needed some help, and they said they needed some help. I said, "Hey, get any, work. You got any hobbies? You doing anything on the side? Or not a fisherman or a carpenter? I golf, or golf. I do a little fishing. I'm a carpenter, avid carpenter, you know, and uh, grandkids." Grandkids, two grandkids I watch every day. But, uh, they're fun. No, it's, it's, it's fun. Like the kids, you gotta watch the kids. And what are you gonna miss most about this place? People. Me. I love the people. You know, people well, they can't take. They can. I can take anything else. But it's friendship. You know, I made a lot of friends. A lot of friends in the post office. Uh, we were talking to Mike Durazio this morning. Uh, I was here when Mike Durazio's mother. You know Mike Durazio? I, I don't. Truck driver. Okay. From Providence. I was here when his mother used to come up on Sundays with a van. And I used to do the van, fill up her van with the mail that I had in the Sunday collection. And uh, when the little kids, all three of his their sons, would walk over to Cumberland Farms, and now, today, he had his daughter in, you know, and, and it was just, it's just amazing, you know, now they own the business. We're going to miss the people. Yeah. The people is, is what, because there's so many people. And it was how many years now? Oh, oh it was 30? Well, it's, it's uh, 30 years, uh, but my total service time for the feds is uh, 33 years, 4 months, 8 days. It's not like I'm counting the remainder. But, yeah. <laughs> No, I'll, I'll miss it. I've so it wasn't it? It wasn't at North Attleboro Post Office the whole time, or what? It was right it here. All that so you've seen a whole lot. I've seen a lot of changes. A lot of changes. A lot of changes. Um, but you know, hopefully the changes that are going to be coming down aren't going to be that drastic. He does his job. He helps out. You ask him to do something. He doesn't. Ninety-nine percent of the time, you don't even have to tell us what to do. He just does it on his own. Um, I know we couldn't have done the things that we do here without his help and uh, I don't know how we'll do it when he's gone but we'll have to find a way but uh, I know he's touched my heart and he's been a, a tremendous uh, person he's touched everybody else's heart so I do appreciate that I do want to recognize uh, Dennis for his uh, 30 years of contribution to the United States Postal Service um, This is for 